In this tutorial, we look at just starting a new website. And we're going to click on New Website here to do this. Start Visual Web Developer, click on this. And then you have two choices here. Well, there's more than two, but we're going to look at these two. We can start an ASP.NET website. And if we do this, um, oh, I'm sorry. The other thing we want to check down here is a name. I'm going to just call this one Website 2. If I was going to do this for something real, I'd change this to the name that I want it to really be. So, like for TonySocko.com, I call it Tony Socko. Um, and then you also might want to notice the path. It's going to put it in your documents, Visual Studio 2010, Websites, and then the name of your website. But let's look at the big difference here is between doing an ASP.NET website. When I say OK, you notice I get a bunch of files over here, folders and files are already created for me. So I get this default.aspx, I get a site master, um, I get a bunch of scripts and styles and things set up for me. And if we look at this, it's kind of built a template for me already. So it's got some tabs on a menu, and it's got a login control, and um, it's got some stuff. And like So on this master page, if we look at the master page, it's got a bunch of stuff in here already. And a lot of this I personally don't want. And so what I could do is start this way, delete the site master, delete the default.aspx, and recreate them, and do a bunch of other stuff. Or the other thing we could do, rather than doing this, is let me close this project. And then we'll come back here and say File, New Website. And this time, start with an ASP.NET empty website. So again, I'm going to check the name down here. This time, it just increments it each time if you don't change it. calls it Website 3. It'll start with an empty website say OK. And now you notice I really the only file I have over here is web.config. So when I start here, I say add a new item and then we'll add a master page. I can find it in here. Oh, it was at the top, wasn't it? Add the master page and keep the name masterpage.master. And then the next thing, add a new item, and we'll do a web form, call it default.aspx, and then make sure that you have select master page check down here. So again, this is just comparing the two different ways of starting a new website, either doing the empty website or the ASP.NET website. And I personally prefer this one, because otherwise I'm deleting a bunch of stuff and just recreating it, where here I just create it anyway.